Alright, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you, well, this is part three. I'm going to show you how to add clothes. So, um, here we go. Alright, I need you to get a color that does not match with the color, color, the hair quill color, or more. A color you can see very well. So, like, I'll use yellow, I guess. Well, not yellow. Huh. Um, baby blue. Yeah, baby blue, I guess. Uh, purple. Yeah, purple's fine. I'm sorry. Uh, just start outlining the arm. If you want to make a long sleeve, you could, but yeah. Outline the arm. And then um, make it look halfway of the, ha of the hand. And just fill it up like that. And now, if you want to make it a styled one, like a cool one, make it very detailed. Because I'm not really making a good one. But you get the drill. You get the drill, you get it. So, um, yeah. Uh, basically, you just fill, you just outline the thing, and then you um, get the palettes for the get the palettes for the the clothes that you want. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, pause the video and get my palettes. All right, I got my palettes. They're the same color as Sonic because I wanted to get some clothes, the, a shirt like that. So now you're gonna you're not gonna use purple as your shirt color. You're just gonna use purple as your um, outlining to so you can see it better. So you're gonna, uh, gonna copy the first primary light color <coughs> and uh, just fill it in. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Um, just use your pencil for colors like that because it can mess up. Just fill it in with the pencil, not with the bucket, with the pencil. It's much better. It's not faster. Well, yeah, it is faster because there's all these different colors. But yeah, so you just fill it up and. Uh, Make sure you get the outlining on purple very great, very good, because then it'll look all weird and crappy, you know what I mean? So then uh just uh get uh get the get the darkest color and then color purple. Color purple in. I'm sorry, I am making this super super duper crappy for some reason and um yeah. Just color it in purple pur 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 purple, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh I'm having a lot of problems right now. So, uh, to make, make like wrinkles, I guess, or a um, little whatever it's called, I don't know. And if you want to add graphics to the shirt, like I'm going to add a graphic to the shirt. I'm going to put in um, uh, like little patches, I guess. Oh, I'm going to use gray. And you know what, guys? I might make this a fan character. You never know. Alright, so I'm gonna use that. And yeah, so now that you make those little wrinkles, you're gonna shade in. Make sure the make sure the right side is a little bit not shaded. Make sure there's a little bit of light facing towards that. <clears throat> so there, there's uh, there's my um, shaded shirt. Now, if you want to make cool pants, you're gonna have to get green. Now that you're away from the head, and uh, color that in, color, erase that little, erase that little, um, little tail looking thing that the hedgehogs have, I guess. So then, uh, you're gonna get the color green, and then just color, color over the shoes, like how I'm doing it, and I did it pretty good. So now you're gonna get the palettes for, um, for the uh, pants, so I'll pause the video and get my palettes. All right, there I got my I got my palettes for my pants. <clears throat> so um, again, get the primary color and just fill it in with the primary color you choose. Primary color you choose or whatever. Um, yeah. So just. <clears throat> Alright, and if you're getting annoyed by the clicking noise, I'm sorry, next, just leave the comments and I'll take it off for the next, my next tutorial, so yeah. So now I'm just going to fill in the green with the darkest color again, same thing, same routine with the clothes. Just add them, see, see, that was simple. So, uh, just fill in the little wrinkles. I'm not really good at the pants because I have no idea why, but... You might be very good at it. 
Uh, okay, that's good enough. So get your prime, you get your middle sh middle shade, and remember the l right side has to be a little bit of light. Or well, you know what, just shade it however you want. That's that's how I do it. I don't really care about the light side and stuff like that. And then just mix it up around with the darkest colors. You can mix it up and stuff. You know, make it look make you look realistic. Just try to change it up, you know. Okay. So, uh, if it looks off like that, just like how I'm doing it right now, if it looks kind of weird, just erase some of the pant parts and replace them because my own look, my own looks like it has a big old freaking ass, like ass sticking out, and it looks funny. So I'm just gonna put it start from right there. And there you go. That's the pants. So was that so hard? So now if you want to continue with the shoes, just um I don't I don't really you don't have to really matter about the shoes. But uh just color them a different color, I guess. So uh, just uh you can uh you can but you, what I'm going to do, I'm not really going to pay attention to the shoes. I'm going to color them all, all gray. Or all green. Who cares? I'm gonna I, I'm gonna go to um, the bucket and then go to flood mode global and then just remember tolerance zero. Just coloring all the red and then go to darker green and then coloring all the green and then go like to a red I guess and then um, yeah. So there you go. There's the custom sprite and. Uh, um, I guess that's it for this tutorial. So thanks for watching my tutorials, and um, comment, rate, subscribe, and I guess that's tutorial dismissed. Later, guys.